go under credentials and let's create the uh, API SOAR credentials. Name, uh, API SOAR. Or actually, let's just say for name ESM and the username should be, sorry, uh, API SOAR. Um, the password, let me see if the password, uh, did I change the password for the API SOAR? I forgot, yeah. So edit user, I'm just gonna type something here like arc site one, arc site one, just to make sure that it's a valid, uh, actually, okay. Okay, let's see. Arc site, all right, and save. So here is the new uh, API credentials. After that, uh, we need to create now a new active alert source. And, and guess what? Uh, ESM, right, is going to be our new active alert source. So just give a name. Uh, I'm just going to say ArcSite ESM type, you know, Microfocus ArcSite ESM. Just go and pick it from the drop down. Now we gotta provide the uh, IP address or the host name of our ESM, HTTPS colon double slash ESM not uh, torque, all right, and then the port 8443. The key should be just to remind you, change me. And then the alert severities as well, if you want to specify the alert source severity and the case urgency, uh, by default, I'm just going to leave the default ones um, credentials, right? So now I'm going to pick the credential that I just created. And then I'm just going to say trust uh, invalid SSL certificates because I'm not using valid SSL certificates. And then uh, clicking on test, you can see that it says alert source tested successfully. All right. So that's enough for me. I'm just going to click on save. And now here is the new alert source added under the ArcSight SOAR. Finally, just to complete this integration, uh, if you want, um, as I said, to populate active lists, to delete entries from active lists, uh, to query active lists and so on from, from the ArcSight SOAR, uh, you can as well create an integration. So from the integration tab under configuration, you can go under create a new integration now uh, we can say, all right, arc site ESM type. So you can see how many different security vendors we have available here. You have threat intelligence platforms, you have uh, um, different um, firewalls, um, security managers, etc., etc. So I'm just going to have to look for microfocus uh, arc site, arc site ESM. And now just again, the host name, double slash, oops, ESM, okay, dot, dot org. And then the port, 8443 again. Uh, after that, the credentials, one more time, just gotta pick the ESM credentials and just uh, make sure you select trust invalid SSL certificates. Uh, if you're using, uh, trusted certificates, then don't use it. Test, now we're gonna test this integration. All right, integration tested successfully. Excellent, so if we click on save, here it still says checking availability. You can even try to refresh by clicking here. And yeah, now it says that it's online. All right, so finally, let's go under cases and let's see if there are some newly arriving cases yes there are okay you see how cool it is seven seconds ago exploit attempted attempt detected by ids compromise attempt uh compromise attempt again yeah so if you're getting many cases right if you're getting uh, too many alerts and if you don't have in place like a consolidation filter which is going to consolidate those individual alerts, you might end up with uh, like a, a big spam right here. This is actually something that you want to avoid, but just like as you can see here, I have uh, 
one, two, three, four of the same cases. So in the next presentations, in the next uh, courses that I have uh, previously that I, that I really want to do for you guys, I'm just going to talk a little bit more about consolidation, uh, about dispatching, about playbooks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, how you know cases are now arriving, and you can see. I mean, the number here it's uh, it keeps increasing, increasing, uh, and yeah, mm, this is just a confirmation that uh, the integration that we did between uh, Arcs IDSM and SOAR was successful. 